Hi, Frank McCarthy with Galati Yacht Sales here in Fort Lauderdale today on the 2020 Fountain Pajot Sayona 47 Maestro named Mabui. This particular Sayona 47 is better than new. Uh, just really has just been finished being commissioned. Uh, many, many customizations that really take what the factory produces, which is a fantastic boat, and just takes it up another level for the couple that wants to spend uh, extended time cruising, uh, possibly even a live aboard. The buoy was ordered from the factory with the factory bow sprit and all the gear required for a jenniker or spinnaker, um, which really, again, adds to the performance of the boat and allows it to be a, a long range blue water cruiser with all those extra downwind sails you can carry. Another really unique feature to this boat is the custom support on the bow pulpits and the additional lifelines they've included. It's the only Sayona that's had that done to it. This particular boat has some great customizations up on deck. They've got handrails throughout, all the way around. One of the great features of the Sayona 47 is the rooftop lounge area which is a fantastic place to hang out with friends, family. You get 360 degree panoramic views from up high. Um, the helm station right next door is perfect. Uh, the person manning the controls of the boat and the sail controls is still in a great place to have a conversation with people up on the rooftop, down in the cockpit. It's a really uh, great uh, conversational layout. You're not uh, sequestered off on a flybridge. It really is a great design. Another great custom feature of this particular Sayona 47 is this custom fiberglass hardtop that was built specifically for this boat. Nice big stainless supports, sunlight, you have actual windows in the roof so you can see your sails. And obviously this is a custom uh, enclosure, not from the factory, this was done here in Fort Lauderdale and it's just the highest end materials. This isn't just generic umbrella. Uh, as you see, this is a really uh, a custom design specifically for the boat, uh, high-end enclosure. And that goes throughout. The cockpit's also got similar enclosures built in. We have sunshades as well as the full-on uh, Isinglass enclosure for the boat. Now we're in the cockpit on the Sayona 47. Some really great custom options they've had installed. This is unique. It's the only boat that has this. They've got a sink next to the barbecue grill, which is a fantastic use of the space. Instead of just a cutting board, we have that. They've added a custom drain that takes the water out of the rooftop lounge and diverts it overboard. Big improvement. They've reinforced the solar panel base into the roof. Little customizations all over the boat. They've added a custom plumbed exterior rain shower here to the cockpit. Typically only you'd see in a luxury resort hotel. They still maintain, you still have the standard deck shower, but you get this additional functionality of a, of a outdoor rain shower, which is unique to this boat. Another really great customization they've done here in the cockpit is this center bench includes a 12 volt deep freeze, which obviously for long range cruising is a, a fantastic feature and a much better use of this space. One really cool feature that's custom to this boat is they added the electric winch buttons that you can operate with your feet here on the floor. Um, makes sail handling much easier if you're not using one of your hands to push the button, you can just use your foot. Inside the main salon and galley area on the Sayona 47, huge drawer refrigeration, great island with pass-through garbage and cabinetry. This particular one has significant upgrades to it. They've added Breville appliances, a toaster oven and a convection oven over there in addition to the regular gas oven. Uh, they've added a, a neat little, this actually hinges down so you can get larger things in and out of there. The toaster oven is on a custom slider that comes out. They use a factory veneers for all that. Just top notch work everywhere.
This boat was fit with the one of the more expensive options from the factory, which is this table that converts in from a coffee table into a dinner table into a berth, electric hydraulic. Uh, but as you can see in this salon, 360 degree visibility, bathed in natural light, skylights, really amazing amount of visibility. When you're sitting at the helm station, you can control the boat from here. And uh, with the camera set up, you can see everything. It's really, really set up for shorthanded, long-term blue water cruising. Now we're in the master on board the Sayona 47 Maestro. As you can see, the entire hull is dedicated to the owner's suite. Large, queen-size island bed elevated. Nice steps up here. Natural light, huge panoramic windows opening hatch above, opening port in the window. Just a fantastically huge space. We've got a great little vanity desk work workstation here, which is really handy for a, spending long periods of time on board, get some work done. Uh, storage for days. The TV is on an articulating mount, comes all the way out to here. Makes it a fantastic place on a cloudy day to just stay in and watch a movie. Now we're in the, uh, the master bathroom on board the Sayona 47. Probably the largest shower I've seen on a boat this size. Truly magnificent, huge. It's so big there's not even a shower door. Natural light coming in through the, the opaque window with an opening port, got an opening hatch above. Tons of storage throughout. We have storage underneath, storage, storage, storage. Just really, really well designed. Ideal for a cruising couple or family to do a real extended long-term cruise. And what's nice is a separate water closet toilet compartment. One other really great feature that's a kind of a customization is how they've built a special compartment over the water maker installation here in the bow on the port side. Real easy access through the master bathroom and you still get all kinds of storage above it, but more importantly, easy access into the water maker and everything you need to do there to maintain it. Starboard aft, you'll find the VIP cabin, which again, has about the same size, exactly the same size bed as the master. It's a full queen size island bed, but you notice all of the great natural light, panoramic windows, en suite head. It's really a, a true VIP. Now this is what I would consider to be the third cabin on board the boat, uh, forward starboard. And as you can see, it's really the same size bed as the master. It's a queen size island bed. Neat thing they've done though, is that Fountain Peugeot has really paid attention to keeping the weight down on this boat. So the water line's real narrow. And if you look, as it comes above the water line, it flares out. So we still have this huge accommodation. I'm 6'2", tons of headroom. Fantastic place. You know, you, the third the third cabin is is no uh, compromise. It's a great cabin. Another great thing about this particular design, the Maestro, is that each cabin, even this third cabin, VIP being aft, the third cabin forward, it's got its own ensuite head. One really great custom feature on this boat that you just don't see on other uh, production catamarans is a separate washer and a completely separate dryer. It's not a combo unit. You've got dedicated washer and dryer. Really a luxury you, you rarely find on a, on a cruising catamaran like this. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out this awesome 2020 Fountain Peugeot Sayona 47. She's turnkey, blue water cruiser, ready to go. My, again, my name's Frank McCarthy with Galati Yacht Sales. Look forward to talking to you and seeing you out on the water.